Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to the magical land of Morrowind. So last time, even though I confirmed the Vayar is safe, Counselor Eris continues to press me to arrange a meeting between him and his daughter. Oran's dead. That's her brother. It appears that his loss of rank, exile, and subsequent murder was set up by some enemy. Perhaps even someone inside House Redoran. I should return to Balmora and tell Counselor Eris what I discovered. That's what we're gonna do right now. By the way, I got our shitty maple sword out. It's tiny. Like, really itty-bitty, and what we're wearing is the, like, pre-order clothing, whatever, you know, uh, for pre-ordering the Morrowind expansion, because, uh, we looked kind of like shit, and I figured it was time for a change. Uh, by the way, this is the 6th that I'm recording this, this will probably go up, uh, tomorrow the 7th. Today is the official launch day, even though I've been playing this for, like, two weeks. So you might see more people than usual, but it wouldn't really May make I that much sense. sense. Shut up, I'm talking. It wouldn't really make that much sense, because, like... It's been out for two weeks now on PC anyway, as long as you pre-ordered it. I don't know, it's weird. And look, a man who, uh, has the... Or a woman, I guess, who has the, the better version than I do. I just... I want the grey beer! We're gonna have a shitty brown beer, it's gonna be depressing. Hello. And so the Outlander returns, as we discussed in the swamp. I expected you to return with Vea. Or present me with a time and place for us to meet. Tell me, Outlander. Which is it to be? Low from column A. Low from column B. I noticed the uh, thing on the table, by the way, that we can read. It's all glowy. We'll check that out after we're done talking to him. There was a complication. Complication? What kind of complication? <laughs> I ordered my well, soldiers to stand down and let you do things your way. But instead of results, you bring me excuses. Okay, well, take a seat. You're already sitting down? Okay. Your son is dead. He was killed during the House Red Around raid on the Ashlander camp. My bad. No, that's not possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never return. Why would he disobey me and go to those savages? Maybe he didn't care what you had to say. Vea was with me. She confirmed it was her brother, Oran. Vea was with you? And you left her out there? By the three, everything is unraveling, no matter how hard I try to maintain control. I need you to do something else for me, if you would, Outlander. What else will you will? What else would you like me to do, Counselor? Tell my daughter, Ooh. I'm sorry. Tell her she needs to stay away until I can calm things down. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Promise me, and take this. Consider it payment for your efforts thus far. Thanks, buddy. A little confused. Uh, it says weapon damage and charm. Increase your weapon damage and spell damage by 282 for 5 seconds. Fair enough. But why is it, like, grayed out? What up, what at? Uh, I'm also not entirely sure what the hell it means by decisive. When you gain ultimate, you have a 22% chance to gain one additional ultimate. Isn't the ultimate like a summoning the bear or whatever? Is that like an attack with the bear or something? I don't know. We are at level 11 out of 12 for the uh, uh, the warden class, I think. So we should be able to summon the bear, you know, in one more level. Again, it's going to be a shitty brown bear, not a cool gray one. But if at some point they allow me to buy the upgraded version, I'm going to get it. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I want that gray bear. Because I'm a sucker. If you'll excuse me, I need some time to consider everything you've told me. Once I determine the best way to proceed, I'll contact you. In the meantime, make sure Vea stays away from Balmora and House Redoran. Okay, I wonder if this is going to lead into a whole new quest here. By the way, we just leveled up, so as well that stuff's popping up on the screen. Uh, did you order the attack on the Ashlander camp? It was never meant to be an attack. So that's a yes. I sent Captain Briven to clear land that already belonged to House Redoran. The Ashlanders were given an opportunity to depart. The situation didn't have to turn violent. Those damn savages should have just left. Clearly it's Bravan. Uh, Bravan, Bravan, whatever, who's behind this. Like, he, he must be the one who's trying to set up her brother. I just can't figure out why. It was an Ashlander camp. How is that Redoran land? House Redoran has been slowly expanding in that direction for years. We claimed that area almost a year ago, but we were forced to temporarily abandon it when a massive ash storm hit. Before we could return, the Ashlanders moved in, 
Why not just let them use the land? They're nomads. That does say nomads, yeah, okay. Uh, they would have left eventually. Redoran depends on that land for hunting and resources. The Ashlanders are like a plague of insects. A plague! They sweep into an area, take everything, and move on. We couldn't allow them to do that here. So, I sent Captain Briven to convince them otherwise. So they... They move into an area, sweep everything, and move on. Damn Mexicans. I'm kidding. Best friend is Mexican. Anyway, it sounds like I need to talk to Captain Ravon. Where can I find him? The captain serves House Redderin with honor and dedication. He's out doing his job. If Briven had anything to do with my son's death, he would have reported it to me. Oh, it's clear. You Come have on. no reason to keep such news from me and the other counselors. Except that he's a bad guy. He's clearly up to something. All around left behind the speaking stone, his last me message indicated that he... Oh, my God, words. Let's start again. Except that he's a bad guy and is clearly up to something. Orion left behind a speaking stone. His last message indicated that he planned to talk to Bravan. Maybe he did talk to him, and maybe that's who killed him. Just saying. I'll speak to Brimen when he returns. Brimen, Bravan, whatever. But understand, the captain operated under my orders. He's an exemplary soldier and an upstanding member of the house. Like me, everything he does is for the betterment of House Redoran. See, maybe he thought it was for the betterment of House Redoran. Maybe he thought your son was bringing great shame to the house or something like that, and that's why he did it? I don't know. We're definitely on the right track here. Unlike last time where I thought, you know, two different women were the same person. Tlalu, lender of complaints. How long is this? Uh, I'll read it. Most esteemed Minister Theron House Redoran, I write to you on a matter of grave importance. My office has received an ever-increasing number of complaints in recent weeks. Many of the house guests have experienced poor treatment at the hands of House Redoran, bailiffs, and constables. Uh, as you well know, House Lalu is duty-bound to address these grievances on their behalf. My dear minister, while I share your belief in the superiority of the Dunma people, we must try to keep such opinions to ourselves. Goddamn racists. House Lalu defers to House Redoran on matters of defense. I would urge you to defer to us on matters of commerce and diplomacy. Our economy is in peril. The pact has brought us some a measure of security, yes, but the cost has been dear. Dearer than I think your Redoran kinsmen are willing to admit. My trade ministers have gone to great lengths to solidify our holdings outside of Morrowind. While the enemy has seized most of our ext extraterritorial property, Extraterrestrial. We retain sizable assets in Imperial. Bo bo what the hell does that say? Booses? I don't know what that word means, but sure. And foreign business concerns. Extracting this wealth is no small task. It takes time, gold, and most importantly, connections. We can ill afford to alienate what few friends we have outside the pacts. Pact is capitalized, so it's clearly important. Just this morning, I received a complaint from one. Theodic, Theodric, rather, Ashcroft, a respected Breton investor. Apparently he, I don't know the name Ashcroft. Then again, it's kind of a common name anyway. Apparently he was accosted by a pair of constables while inspecting a potential construction site. Some minor religion, religious infraction, I'm told, stepping over a fence to get a better look at a property or something. According to Ashcroft, the constable forced him to the ground, dragged him to the temple, and turned him over to the ordinators, who subjected him to no less than three hours of interrogation and corporal reduction. Holy crap. Uh, needless to say, he will not be investing in our fair city. Both Ashcroft and his gold have fled to the mainland. These people may be inferior, their religions may be repugnant, or repugnant rather. Their manners may be tiresome. But for the love of the three, swallow your pride and bear it. It's more than I can bear. I'm going to be making bear puns when we unlock the bear, by the way. Idle zealotry cannot put food on the table. We cannot fill our coffers with increase incense rather, and prayer and expect to wage war effectively. Interprovincial commerce is a necessary evil. Whether you like it or not, I urge you in the strongest possible terms that leave outsiders be. I hope this will be my final word on the subject. Yours most respectfully. Turner Nailin, House Lalu, Deputy Trade Viceroy. Sure. Alright, so what do we do now for this quest? We don't have the quest anymore. I guess we finished the quest, but he did say, like, oh, give me some time and maybe, you know, maybe I got something else for you. Hang on. There's a quest in this building, is there not? There's an arrow pointing me. It seems like it's right down below me. Let's go check over here. 
Yeah, I guess that's outside? Sure. Let's go outside, see if, uh... See if maybe we can speak to Bravan or something like that? I don't know. See, there's a quest over there that wasn't there before. Yeah, it's Asher. Okay, so this has to be the continuation of the quest. Over here. Oh, yeah, yes, I know. Quest over here. Now you told me what you found in the Ashlander mine. I can't imagine what Veya must be going through right now, but she shouldn't be alone. That's why I came looking for you. Why me? Isn't Nayu with you? And yes, I kept calling her Nehru. I think because, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Zelda nerds, uh, I believe there's somewhere in some of the, uh, the almost the Elder Scrolls games, some of the Zelda games called Nehru's, like Bay or something like that. So I think that's where I was getting it from. Like the same way I keep almost calling Red Mountain Death Mountain. I don't know why my brain's in Zelda mode. I haven't played Zelda in forever. Uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. I already said that. Now you has responsibilities to tend to. Morag Tong responsibilities. Understand? Yeah, I get it. You're a She point. left me to keep Veya company, but I'm not very good at spouting words of comfort and solace. Unless I can kill something, I'm very good at that. I happen to be good at both. So you want me to talk to Veya? I can do that. You do understand. I do! And now you implied you're as dense as the ash storms coming off Red Mountain. That bitch. Good to know even the Mother of Blades can be wrong. Veya's upset, and not just about her brother. She wanted to go with Nayu. Alright, I'll do it. One other thing. Nayu's job concerns House Redoran. That's why she didn't want Veya to accompany her on this one. Veya's grief-stricken, angry, and ready to lash out at anyone and anything. So keep your head low and try not to upset her. Sounds like you had some experience getting on Veya's bad side. I have experience getting on a lot of people's bad sides. Women, especially, find me exasperating. Irresistible, but exasperating. It's a gift. Yes, a gift and a curse at the same time. Why does Veya want to go with Nayu? Something about who Nayu's target is. Thinks the target may know something about what happened to her brother. Look, I'm not even sure how Veya found out who Nayu's target is, and I don't want to know. Just go and talk to her, please. Any advice on how to approach Veya? I'm not good with women, apparently. Carefully, and with your hands empty and clearly visible. She's in the safe house beneath Balmora, or at least that's where I left her. But I didn't lock the door, so I suppose she could be anywhere by now. I suggest you hurry and get down there. You idiot. You idiot. We're going to go there, and because the door wasn't locked, people are going to have busted in and found her. And she's going to be, like, either arrested or kidnapped or murdered. I'm calling it now. You're a goddamn moron. We need to highlight the correct quest, don't we? A call for aid. That's not it. A friend in need. Uh, is it that? No. A purpose is re Here we go. All right. So where are we going? We're going this way. All righty then. Uh, I was going to carry on uh, from last episode where I was actually about to make a point about Tekken and then we never got around to that because it got interrupted every time, but we're here anyway, so. Your bear's eyes glow! Screw you! You got a great bear and its eyes glow? Okay, oh, never mind, I guess I was it's wrong. you. I'm sorry about that. You say that and then you're looking at her. How dare you! She's not important, I'm important! Did Arshaw send you to check up on me? I swear, the next person that treats me like a child is going to find my dagger in their stomach. Gods, I'm not mad at you. I'm just annoyed at everybody right now. There, there, champ. There, there. Do you want me to leave? No, I don't think so. It's just been difficult. Finding poor Ulren in the Ashlander camp. I need to be doing something. Sitting down here in the dark, hiding, that's not going to solve anything. But now you told you to stay here. I know, but Nariu's writ. It involves a Redoran counselor. Exactly the opportunity I've been waiting for. The counselor knows who set up my brother. We need to talk to her before Nariu executes the writ. Do this for me, and I promise to stay here. Alright, where's she at? Well, Nariu wouldn't tell me any specifics, but she trained me well. It wasn't hard to sneak a glance at the writ before she took off. Her target's at a Renan Manor. Out in the swamp. Not far from that smelly cave, actually. Alrighty, I'll go there then. I appreciate you agreeing to see what you can learn at Arenim Manor. My father used to say it was used by counselors as a retreat. But mother always told me it was where they conducted business that required a certain degree of privacy. 
Given any thought to your brother's message? That's all I've been doing. Thinking. And I think Oran was right. I think someone wanted him out of the way, and they orchestrated the event with the Ashlanders to do it. Someone played my brother for a fool, and it cost him his life. What can you tell me about Bravan? Or Bravan? Riven's as stubborn Riven. as my father when it comes to following the rules and regulations of House Redoran. Oran and Riven were best friends, even if they argued from time to time. He's totally the one that murdered him. What did Riven and Oran argue about? Women? Politics, foreign relations, the Ashlanders. You name an issue and Oran and Riven were probably on opposite sides of the argument. It got to the point where I had to ignore both of them or they'd drive me insane. Alright. I got it. This time, I got it. And some of you probably got this before me. Briven wants to get in her pants. Oran probably found this out. Didn't like this and threatened uh, to maybe get him kicked out of the guard or whatever the hell you would call what they're in. Or something like that. Basically have him exiled. Etc. Etc. And I think you know, basically tell um, Councillor Eris about it so that he would get fired. So I think that was what drove him to do it. Love, I think. I think. Well, maybe not love. Maybe just lust. But either way, this woman right here, I think, is the cause and solution to all of life's problems, like alcohol. I told your father what happened to Oran. You, you did. How did he take it? I mean, he didn't know that my brother was dead. He didn't know and he seemed as upset as you are over the news. Really? I suppose that makes sense. I think he loves us. In his own way. But what else did he say? Did he know that Ulren had been banished? And now I'm getting suspicious that Councillor Eris has something to do with it as well. He told Ulren to go to the mainland. He didn't expect him to turn to the Ashlanders for shelter. He didn't expect... <laughs> My father doesn't know his children as well as he thinks. Either of them. That's why I had to get away. Join the Morag Tong. At least Naryu understands me. Mostly. They mostly come at night. Mostly. I like the way she says Morag Tong, by the way. She says Morag Tong. That's Kiki. Your father said you should avoid House Red around so we can sort out what happened. I can't agree to that. I need to figure out what God happened to my brother, who was involved, and then I'm going to make them pay. Just you watch. You better get your blade ready for Bruvan then. Because I'm telling you now. It was him and your father's probably got something to do with it. Holy shit, there's a lot of people in here. It's almost as if the game of... Or the expansion... It's because it's not a game. The expansion officially releasing today has caused more people to buy it. Which doesn't really make any sense to me. Because you could get it two freaking weeks ago. Uh, if you pre-ordered it. And I know like old don't pre-order and stuff like that. But what's the difference between buying it now and buying it literally yesterday? There is none. You could look up reviews online. It don't make no damn sense, man. Like, I don't I don't get it. Where are we going? We are, we are not going this town. We're going over there. All right, before we leave, uh, I do want to check out the stable really quick. Because apparently you can buy horses in this game. This It seems to be a limited amount of them. It seems like you need crowns for all the cool-looking ones and stuff like that. Like that Dwema spider mount that that guy had back there. I think you can only buy that with crowns, for example. But I do want to check the stables either way. Now, we did swing by the stables before. But I never actually saw a way of purchasing a horse, but there has to be. Like, there has to be. Uh, so, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think if we pick, uh, if we uh, open up the map, it should tell us who the Stable Master is. Yes, so. Nothas Vurus. Nothas Vurus. you. The Silt Strider suffers from moss blight, but the speckled Nyxox makes a fine substitute. If you don't know what I'm talking about, forget I said anything. I'm gonna smile and nod politely. And remain, you know, eye contact. Just keep eye contact, because I don't, you're, you're weird. Let's look at the stable. So, oh, here we go. Bye. There you go. Oh, my lord. Alright, so, hmm, okay. They're quite expensive. Ten grand for the cheapest one, and then the other three are all way more, like, this is what, love, the basic bitch horse? A hardy, well-rounded beast, unremarkable and dependable. A luxurious black steed often considered a point of pride and distinction by Tamrielic jockeys, cavalry, and couriers. Brown paint horse favored by farmers and traders, this muscular horse is strong and patient. 
This energetic mount is well liked by Battlefield Scouts. I don't know if any of them are actually different. I, I, I guess so. Do we want speed, uh, stamina, or carry capacity? So speed literally is like the top speed, but as you can see, we only did it 1%. I think we have to do it for like 100 freaking days, which is ridiculous. Uh, carry capacity, 60 is the maximum, I know that. Uh, so it ups it by one point every time. I'm not too concerned by that. I'd rather have the speed. Yeah, 60% speed. And yet, like, it's... God, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take bloody forever. Alright, anyway, I, uh... I will probably cut out the majority of this trip until we get into at least some new land. And then I'll bring you in a ramble about Tekken, even though it's not gonna be that interesting. Unless you're really good at Tekken. But fuck it. Anyway, like I said, I'll bring you in when we get to a new area. Oh, hey! I just killed this dude, and now I have a new skill line for one-handed and shield. I wonder if... Because we've been using the sword for a while, and we never got the one-handed unlock until we... Like, this is the first thing I've killed since I put the shield on. Well, either way, here's the question. Now do we start going for this, now that we're not using the two-hander anymore? That's, that's a great question, and one I don't really have the answer to. I think for now, I'm going to save uh, I'm gonna save my skill points. But, yeah... I don't know, man. Like, feel free to let me know if you think it's a good idea. Because I don't know which one we're going to be using consistently. It, it really depends, like, are we going to get a better two-hander soon? Because if so, then I'll go back to the two-hander. But right now, I'm liking the shit out of this, this sword and shield combo. Boop! And then, boop! Oh, God. Okay, wait, we can do this. Okay, we did it. And then, bonk! Get clobbered, son. Get freaking clobbered. Alright, you know what? I'm going to bring you in here. Since I brought you in anyway, because i got that thing unlocked, so... What I was going to say last episode about Tekken, and it probably drove some people, you know what, let's try on this guy, because this was probably the dude that we were fine before and he kept healing, so now we know how to actually stop that. That seems like a handy thing. Did he kill that? It looked like he was eating that. Maybe that's, oh, like, the body's always there. Maybe it's not like an actual enemy. Oh, yeah, you know what? Probably shouldn't stand in that AoE. Going to throw that one out there. It seems like, uh, seems like a bad idea. Oh, uh, yeah, anyway, so Tekken. Uh, I haven't played Tekken since, I think... Tekken... Tekken Tech, Tech 2, I want to say. And... I really like Tekken. Like, I'm a big fan. I, I'm not, like, that great at fighting games, but I'm not terrible at them. Um, See, so yeah, I bought Tekken, bought it yesterday, installed it. I played it for, like, five hours already. Which is actually very, very rare for me to play a game that much in, like, a single day. These days. When I was a kid, I used to know, like, video games, but... I'm a kid no more. Alright, give me that... Give me that booty. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, my God! Have we finally got a new bloody helm? Hang on, hang on. What are we wearing? We're already wearing an Iron Helm. Son of a biscuit. It is better, though. Let's equip that bad boy. I think it's going to look exactly the same. Actually, it doesn't have the face part on it. That's cool that there's Iron Gear that looks a bit different. Ah! You know what? I just realized it's probably because of the whole, like, racial uh, style. Because we picked up blueprints and things like that that, like, you can craft now in the, like, Dark Elf style or the Ogonian style. So that's probably what it is. That's very cool, man. I like that. What the hell is that eyeball symbol over there? A left? Sh sure, let's let's take a left and head over to a left. Oh, <laughs> so good. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm not great at fighting games, but I do really like them. It, it, Tekken's like my game. That, that's the one I enjoy the most. Uh, so I played that for like five hours yesterday. I... I think Kazuya is probably my favorite character, but I'm really bad with him. Well, I'm not like really bad with him, but I just don't fare well with him online. So, I went online, played... Oh, good lord. I played three matches with Kazuya. Lost the first two. Narrowly won the third one. Then I switched to Brian Fury, and I think my record right now with Brian Fury is 9 and 2. Like, I can whoop ass with Brian Fury. Kazuya, on the other hand, not so much. Anyway, we've pretty much arrived over there. A laze, I'll bet. So this is like, what, a dungeon or something? It looks all Dwema. It's very cool, actually. I really like the, uh, I've said this before, I really like the the visual aesthetic in this game. Oh, this is a Kaguti. You can actually get these things as mounts, but like, cooler looking versions of them. Get dunked on, Kaguti! Yeah! Yeah! Man, we are... Unless we get like, you know, attacked by two or three dudes at once. One on one! We're pretty freaking dangerous. Oh my god, get ducked on. Alright, give me all that sweet, sweet booty. Whoa, mouse cursor, what the hell are you doing leaving the screen like that? Eh, so how do we get into this dungeon? Or, like, maybe it's just a landmark or something? That wouldn't make sense, because you can't quick travel in this game. At least I don't think so. 
without using the, uh, the way shrines. But you would think there would be a way in here. Hang on, maybe if I open up the map and, like, zoom in. Can I, can I even zoom? Is that a thing I can do? Don't think so. Is there no local map? Apparently L opens up campaigns. Alright, not gonna lie, no idea what a campaign is, and there was probably a description there, but pff, ain't nobody got time for that shit. I just really kinda wanna see if we can get in here. I don't know if we gotta do it right now. I you hours ago, hero. Guess we're not. It's not polite to keep an assassin waiting. Yeah, well there's like a cool place over there I wanna check out, so you just sit there for a minute, alright? Jesus. Yeah, I'm not seeing an entrance. Maybe let's follow this, let's follow this fool. Maybe he knows where an entrance is. Are you level 28? Is that what that means? Man, you are way higher level than I am. We're, we're like 8, I think. Dude. Go somewhere. Oh, you suck. Oh, you goddamn suck. So if that number before the name is actually their level, that means this person is level 295. That can't be right. You can't be 295. Like, I don't... I don't begin to believe that for a second. See, this looks like this would be the door. Like, it really, really does. So, I don't know, why would this be here if we can't do anything with it? Because again, I can understand something like this in a regular Elder Scrolls game where you can use quick travel, because you could use it as a quick travel point. But... We can't. At least I don't think so. I almost got myself trapped. Hello, buddy, you're an orc! This might be the first player I've seen using a bloody orc. I think an orc was the, uh... That was the second, the second character I used in Skyrim. I think the orc is the one I use for, like, pretty much all of the Let's Plays. I think that was the first dude I called Jason McGrizzle, because he's a grizzle looking motherfucker. Hello! I was wondering how long it was going to take Vare to convince you to follow me. But she thought I didn't notice when she glanced at my writ, didn't she? Where is my overly curious apprentice, by the way? She's staying in Balmora. She wants me to see what your target knows about Orad's exile and murder. I know Vare wants answers, but this is my job. There are rules, especially where the Lords of the Great Houses are concerned. There might be a way to deal with this, though, provided you're willing to help. What do you need me to do? First, don't kill any Redrans. No. Oh. That's a violation of my writ and could have serious consequences for both of us. But I like Second, killing people! you sneak around and search for anything that pertains to Ulran's exile while I figure out how to deal with the Counselor. Sneaking and not killing people? Sounds like my area of expertise. I'm being entirely sarcastic. All right, I'll see what I can turn up. We need to be invisible. Invisible. These things work best when no one but the target knows we're there. If you get spotted, you're on your own. I even cough on anyone without a writ, and the Morog Tong will have my head. Do you often receive writs that call for the death of higher-ranking house officials? Answer to me, damn you. It's unusual, but not unheard of. True, most writs taken out against the houses target low to mid-ranking officials. The Grand Master is cautious when it comes to accepting such a high-profile writ. Apparently, though, this target has been very bad. I've been very bad, too. Would you like to punish me? What did the Counselor do? Counselor Dovera has been conspiring with House Drez to promote the slave trade and avoid scrutiny by Redrin and Pact officials. She played a dangerous but profitable game, and her coffers were overflowing. Until someone noticed. What gave her away? Was she... <laughs> was she, like, running around in, like, Gucci and, you know, just diamonds all over the place and sports cars? Is that what gave her away? I'm not privy to the laborious investigations that took place. In cases like these, though, the target usually becomes complacent and lets her guard down. She made a mess. Now I get to clean it up, for the good of Dunmer society. Why do you think Oran was exiled? That's the question, isn't it? It nags at us the way the torchbug nags at the brave little scrib in those children's stories. Yeah. Once we discover who Oran's torchbug is, we'll have a clearer understanding of why they set him up, and why he had to die. Do you think Oran's death was all part of the plan? I'm not saying that. Accidents happen. But they certainly made sure Ulran was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Both in Balmora and again in the Ashlander camp. In addition to whatever you can find here, you should also talk to Captain Briven. You think Briven's involved in all this? Briven's name keeps coming up. I know. At the very least, 
He was Oron's best friend once. Exactly. You might be able to shed some light on Oron and what happened to cause his exile. And I really want to know what took place after Oron left us that message. He was his best friend once, and as best friends, he was like, Yo, buddy, I really want to marry your sister, and stick it in her. And then he was like, Ew! And then uh, he's like, No, you shall never have my sister. She's too good for you. And he's like, What? I thought we were bros! And then he's like, Nah, man, we bros, but my sister ain't no hoe, alright? So you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't touching my sister, alright? And then, and then he's like, Okay. Look, I'll prove it to you. And then and they had a fist fight, and then, and then things got out of hand, and he died. Did you need to leave Vare behind? Vare's my apprentice, and I'll decide when she's ready to take on a mission. She's been through a lot, and her actions reflect on me and my status in the Morog Tongue. She may not appreciate it right now, but I'm trying to keep the both of us on track. She says Morag Tonk so fancy, like Morag Tonk. Yeah, that's gotcha. So you're accountable for Vare's actions? That makes you an accountability buddy. That's how it works. Her actions are my actions. Vare goes out and executes three writs. I share the credit and get praised for training my apprentice. On the other hand, if she kills someone without a writ, the Morag Tong takes both our heads. Are the rules really that stringent? They have to be. My order came this close to being eliminated. It's only recently that we've started to make a comeback, and only in Dunmer territory. If we can't control the actions of our members, we'll be hunted down and destroyed for sure. Alrighty then. So what are we doing? Find a way into the manor. Optional steps. Optional steps. Avoid killing Red Rand soldiers. Oh, that's optional. Oh, well, alright then. I mean, you made it sound like I had to not kill them. So we're going over there, and we're not supposed to kill those dudes. So... <laughs> stroke! 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 Alright, let's go. Enough messing around. I'm in a weird mood. This is what happens when I, uh, when I get sleep deprived. I get very strange. Get dunked on, weird... Buck thing, you ain't a red rat soldier, so I can murder you. Your life is forfeit. There's a guy over there. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, 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 just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Alright, that's right, buddy. That's right. You don't see me trespassing. I know I'm trespassing. That's like the whole point of the quest. Take your roll. Dun 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 snake your dive bomb, son. There you go. Leave no witnesses. Did they, did they even hit him? I don't even know. Was well, a red rand guard over there? All right, we're gonna hide here for a second. And now we're gonna move, cause oh god. I said I was detected, but I no longer trespassing. Ooh, that works. So we need to find a way in. Let's just let's let's case the joint. Let's circle. What the hell is that? Let's circle all the way around. That looks important. Is it really nothing? That's nothing. It looks important. All right. Some stuff over there. Uh, but anyway, let's circle all the way around, see if we can find the uh, the easiest way in. I'm gonna play it properly and actually sneak. Are you proud of me? You should be. Look how bright blue that is. That genuinely looks important. Yeah, I'm doing tactical rolls in the water. One of it. Be jealous, son. Be jealous. I mean, that looks like the front. I doubt that's an easy way to sneak in. It could be like a trap door or something silly like that nearby. Don't really know. It's going to be really hard to search it properly from up close without getting immediately spotted by a guard. I'm probably about to get spotted by a guard right now, let's be honest here. Just heard someone say, that brings bad luck. Oh, fucking Christ, you scared the life out of me. Didn't realize you were following me. Like, I genuinely had no idea. Oh shit. Can they see you? Or are you invisible? Are you like Ellie from uh, The Last of Us? I think you are Ellie from The Last of Us. That works for me, man. Works for me. Alright, this guy is. He's back to me. Go! Go, you son of a bitch! There's like a window or something here. Can we go in the window? To the windows! The walls! Down these bitches, crawl. Sweat, drip down my balls. It doesn't look like we can get in there. Uh, I'm finding it difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you. You find it a little difficult to actually get in this place. How can I possibly get through here? There's guards bloody everywhere. 
And is it just the guards that can be alerted? Oh, me, come on, it's ridiculous. The bridge there. Can we lower that bridge, I wonder? Like, even if we could. Ooh, I don't know what they want from me here. I mean, like, I get it. We could probably just run past the guards and just don't kill them, because that's an optional objective. We could even kill them. Um... Yeah, give me a second here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a moment to uh, case the joint a little bit, a little bit more thoroughly, and then I will bring you in when I've, uh, you know, found our, found our appropriate approach. Okay, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not really seeing any way in other than maybe that door right there. And honestly, that seems like it's entirely doable because there's only like three guards at the front. I say only three. Three is a decent number, but uh, ow, my ankles. There's only like three guards right outside the front, and it does seem like at least at some point, pretty much all three of them head over there and sort of stand in a circle. So as long as I can get behind them when they do that. Holy shit. <laughs> I was about to go for it. Um, hmm. Okay, where does she turn now? Please don't go to the right. You're going to go to the right, aren't you? Oh my god, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Okay, it's gonna be a problem if we can't actually... Can I, I can let this bridge down? Because I can't seem to jump up there. I'm no longer... No, 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 no! I said I'm not trespassing! Who the hell are you? Oh, it's a war claw. There's a war claw in there? Alright, let's take out the war claw. Because we're allowed to. Ooh. Okay. Did not think they would uh, hit me from that far away. But I guess I moved kind of into it, so... I'll let you go. I'll, I'll let you have that one. Okay. Apparently cannot interrupt power attacks like that. Iron Greaves of something. Stamina. What are we wearing? Man, these have way more defense. Uh, the other ones give magicka. Increases your critical resistance. And you take 50% less durability damage. I think these are probably worth it just for the, uh... Just for the armor. Yeah, anyway... Is there some way of me letting this bridge down? It doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Okay. So... There must be a way to jump up here. Like, there has to be. There you go. I was just too close. Holy shit, that was close. Doggo, what are you doing over there? You're gonna get the game away, man? I'm just hoping the guys behind me aren't going to turn around. Turn around every now and then. Time to go roll. Turn around, right around. Did I finally make it inside? And I need you more than ever. And there's something, something. Is this bitch even following me? Aren't you supposed to be following me? What are you doing? Yeah, it says I'm... Okay, she's here. It's pointing me outside, but I'm assuming there's going to be a way to get this in from here. This looks promising. Exactly. Might even lead to the wine cellar. There you go. I could use a good bottle of wine. Yeah, it shouldn't be both. Man, I can actually get onto that. Wow. I'm genuinely surprised they didn't invis blah, 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 invisible wall me. I'm, I'm not kidding. I really, really thought they would. Most games do that. And they're like, nah, you can't crouch under that. Why would you want to do that? It's like, well, I'm playing sneaky, ain't I? Leave me alone. Keeps popping up saying detected, which makes me believe there's probably a dude down here. Oh yeah, that totally is. All right, we well, now remember, Jason, you're not allowed to kill them. Well, ooh. I can't like zoom out to look around. War claws, let's flay this outsider. No, I have no idea how they stop. I have no idea how they a spotted me and then b became immediately unalerted. But I'm okay with this. What's up with the war claw thing? Don't know. Uh, you know what? Because that's not a war claw, because the war claw people are cats. That's why they're called war claws. Sorry. Khajiit. You can probably hear my keyboard whilst I'm tapping. I'm just trying to get around the bloody corner. I'm sorry. How am I supposed to get past you? Uh, uh, I can't mm, the name. The one. Don't know. It's going to come back. Okay. No, 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 no. Doggo, get over here. All right, you, you you be Ellie. We're gonna have to go when he goes over there. Like now, like now. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Pretend he never saw me that first time, because apparently the game forgot. So I'm okay with that. There's a hiding place over there. Let's go full on Assassin's Creed. Oh shit. Oh, he's gonna come around this way. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. We're gonna have to go. 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 Go go go. Get in the freaking pot. Uh. 
I'm assuming what happened there was he almost saw me, and I got in just in time. I don't know, <laughs> but that's what we're going to go with. I probably should be going, like, right now. You know, probably. the timing of that. The timing of that. The timing of that. All right, you know what? Jump back in this thing. Oh, my God. All right, we fucked it up. Can I? Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Hang on. Get in the thing. No, get in the thing. Can you actually lose me if I just jump in this? You can't. Okay. We're going to pretend again that that didn't happen. The stealth seems a little strange on this game. I won't lie to you. A uh, little wonky, but... It's working, I guess. Like, we, we're not killing these dudes we're not supposed to be killing, so I'm just going to roll with it. Uh, so we're going to wait for him to double back, and then we'll go when he's uh, facing over there. So I'm probably going to cut this part out. Okay, he's going past this, and... Go. That was close. No, don't run, you idiots. Why did you not pop out in sneak mode? Oh, shit. Tactical roll. Dun, 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 dun. I think they hear us. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Jesus Christ, man. You trying to get caught? What's wrong with you? Are they still following us? I think we're good. I think we're good. I am the greatest sneaker of all time. What is this? Is that alcohol? That's alcohol. All right. And this gets us up in the mess. See what you can find pertaining to Uron. I've got a dagger and a writ with Councillor Dolvara's name on them. You all doubted me. You all doubted me. There's a man right there. How am I supposed to get past you without getting seen? Oh, there's a god there as well. Good. 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 Okay, so what we're looking for is over there. We know that. Did the guard just pick up a glass? Yo, you're on duty. Why are you drinking on duty? Get out of here, you lush. What the hell? Yeah, put that glass down. Turn around. No Turn around. The alternative is a lot worse. Okay, somehow we can get past that person. They are very blind. I mean, they've been drinking a lot, so... Okay, there's someone right there. Oh, go for it. Fuck it. Members of the... I can't read this right now. If we don't find anything, maybe we can ask for an invitation to the upcoming council meeting. I'm sure they'd be happy to answer our questions. Oh shit, son. Run! Go back down here. Go back. Go back. Oh, we can't because we're alerted. Oh, lord. This is bad. This is, this is bad. This is bad. This, that person's not even alerted yet. That person's not alerted either. You know what? Uh, yeah, this is bad. Where can we hide? Where can we hide? Where can we hide? I know. I know. I know. I know. I know what you think. Jesus Christ chases you bad stuff. You were not wrong. You were not wrong. Take a roll, goddamn you. I have no stamina. Did I get away? I think it got away. Again, the stealth on this... You know, it's, uh... Stealth ain't perfect. Can I not grab this bloody gem? Like, seriously? I can't, that's not a thing I can take. It doesn't exist. I hate when games do that. It's like a genuine, genuine pet peeve of mine. And they did that a, like a lot in Enderall. Where you see something. And like it's on a shelf or whatever. Or in a basket. But it doesn't it's actually exist. So you can't take it. Fat lot of good. That's going to do the counselor. Yes, quite so. I think it's still pointing upwards. So we're going to try and head up there. Where's the lush gone? Where's the lush? The lush is right there. Oh, shit. Is there a guy here? What is it? I th don't think they actually saw us. No, they totally saw us. All right, time to leave. Time to freaking leave. Can I even use this door? Yes, I can. Go, 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 go. All right, search the manor. Optional, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this must be what we're looking for. I couldn't read the other ones at the time because, you know, the guards would have been in the shadow of us and seen this. Anyway, Councillor Gold Dolvara, the unfortunate events surrounding the demotion and subsequent banishment of Auron Relith have left the High Council extremely disappointed. I feel like I just heard a dude on my right, but let's hope they, they can't see us. This isn't what we expected from the promising son of an old and respected family. Your report detailing Auron's trial... While informative did nothing to alleviate our concerns, in line of what occurred, the High Council requests a favor from you. First, since you often operate in the Balmora region, we'd like you to monitor Councilor 
Oh my god, I can't read right now. We'd like you to monitor Councillor Eris' actions for the relative future. We have every faith in Councillor Eris, but Oran is his son after all. Add that to the disturbing news about his daughter and the Morak Tong, and you can see why we have concerns. Second, since the promotion of Bravan Malrom to the rank of Captain and Commander of Redoran's Western Forces, we have received troubling reports of unauthorized escalation of the use of mercenary companies, specifically for Hara's war clause. Contract soldiers are expected to abide by all house laws and regulations, but Fahara's mercenaries tend to deviate from standard practices on a frequent basis. We especially dislike hearing reports of excessive violence with regard to the treatment of Ashlanders. Harsh treatment, as you know, must always be authorized. Use your connection and personal relationship with the Arella family to urge Councillor Aris to get his affairs in order. We'd appreciate it if you disquiet or if the disquiet in Balmora settled down before the upcoming council meeting. Hi, Councillor Meriath. Holy crap. I was hoping for a quick stab and go, but it seems the councillor might actually know something about Ulron. It does indeed. Apparently I'm supposed to speak to you. One up. So Councillor Dolra does know something about Vea's brother. Damn it all. Now I suppose you want to actually talk to her before I execute the walking pile of pond scum. That's a lot of peace. That's actually only two peace. Don't we need to find out what she knows about Aura? Of course we do. I specifically waited for you to arrive because I figured that would be the case. Still doesn't mean I'm happy about blurring the line between helping Vea and performing my duty as a Morog Tong. What do you think about the other information we found? We discovered that the next meeting of the High Council will take place at the Consulate outside Balmra. The War Clause and the Ashlander abuse aren't completely sanctioned by the House, and Dolvara was present when Ulran was exiled. Not a bad haul. And that means... That means we have to get Dolvara to spill her guts before I spill her guts. Just keep your wits about you, hero. Dolvara wields her feminine charms the way I wield my daggers. Don't let her seduce you into doing something stupid before I, I assure her. you. Not a woman in the history of planet Earth has ever seduced me and made me do something stupid. I'm kidding. That happens all of the time. Right, so confront Councillor Dolvara. Optional steps. Avoid killing Redoran soldiers. So it's back in here? Or is it not? I don't know. Are they in this building? Possibly, yes. It looks like we're going over here. Dun, 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 dun. Attack your roll. Be quick with your questions, hero. When I slip in, so do my daggers. Yeah, I know, I know. You, I get it. You're an assassin. You stab people. Where were you oh, on the night of the murder? You must be here about those pesky patrol schedules. After all that clandestine correspondence, it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Now. Come closer so we can celebrate our partnership in a proper fashion. It charmed, I'm sure. Well, look at you. I'm impressed. The last person House Drez sent over was so much more... scruffy. I have a meeting with House Halalu shortly, but I think I can spare a few more moments for you. To seal our partnership, you understand. Man, you are a hussy, ain't you? Alright, so we've got a persuade option. Persuade! I'd love to spend some time with you first. Why don't you tell me about Oran Relith? The noble's banished son? Why does House Drez care about that? Never mind. Anything so we can get to the good stuff. Oran was tested and found wanting. Chose the life of a savage over his own soldier. We stripped him of his rank and exiled him. Who tested Oran and who killed him? Oran's dead. Hmm. I hadn't heard. As to who was behind the test of Oran's loyalty, what does that matter? He failed and paid the price for his poor choices. What does all this have to do with our arrangement? Nothing. I was just curious. Now, when we are bound to get to know each other a little better, cue the poor music. You aren't clever enough, or pretty enough, to avoid what's about to happen. Dolvara. Shank the bitch! What's the meaning of this? Who are you people? I'm a Morog Tong, with a writ that says you're a criminal and a traitor. That means I get to end your miserable existence. Hmm? Damn! Damn! 
Yeah. And then my dog's tea bag in Take her. another look around. Alright, you know, I'll join. And it. see if you can find anything else related to Auron. Can I search your body? I can't search your body. Uh, okay. So we got a couple of things here. Let's look at the letter. At least ain't long, because apparently I can't read it either. Shit. My dearest Delvara, your efforts on behalf of House Lalu in regards to our interests in Balmora excite me to no end. Best to keep the houses on equal footing. And what better way to accomplish that than by mutual trust and cooperation between two influential insiders? The information you passed along with was exceedingly helpful. Take this beautiful collection of jewels as a thank you. Hopefully they'll keep you enthralled until my next visit. Speaking of visits, our mutual associate in house address have agreed uh, to finally meet with you face to face. I'm sure the same charms you use to captivate me will have a similar effect on the dress agent. Once you get to know each other a little better, I have no, idea, no doubt that you'll be able to improve the slave trade a hundredfold. Why let the tribunal and a few packed rules get in the way of a prophet and our cherished way of life? Avlalala? Avlalala? The Dolvara was in bed with both this? House Halalu and House Dress. What is this? Is this like some kind of weird old video? What's it? Video game? Weird old like game? Because it's like a bunch of balls and like a little tray and then like this. That, that looks like a rolling pin. I don't know. What's, it could be drugs. Uh, I have no idea. I have no bloody idea. Alright, it's not that bad. Councillor Dolvara, thanks to your impressive recommendation, I've been giving or given command of our forces in the Balmora region and promoted to the rank of captain. Remind me then I owe you the next time I can get away from my duties for an hour or two. I've taken the liberty of reassigning most of our soldiers previously under Oran's command in order to provide them with a chance to start fresh under the new resume. Only Vatalo Telems. Squad remains intact. They were with Oran on the day of the incident, and I want to personally debrief them before I make any sweeping changes. In the meantime, I've sent them to scout the old fort west of Balmora to keep them busy. Also, I wanted to thank you for reconnecting me with Fahara and her mercenary unit. I worked with them in the past, but they've been a godsend for bolstering our presence in contested territory. Here's the rest of the unit assignments in case you're interested. The rest of the letter contains a list of various soldiers and unit assignments. Oh my god! That's Captain Brigandseal. I suppose our evil counselor courted favor wherever she could find it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm weird. Hi. The good Captain Brivin appears to be more involved in Auron's fate than I had imagined. He never struck me as the type to use murder and deceit to get ahead, but that's the problem with greed. It causes decent people to make stupid choices. It sounds like the captain is spreading Auron's soldiers to the four winds to make a fresh start. Like butter on bread. Or he's trying to hide something. The letter mentioned an intact squad sent to scout the old fort. You need to get out there and see what those soldiers know before Briven gives them new orders and they disappear. Should I let Vea know what we discovered first? I suppose. She's probably pulled tight as a bowstring waiting to hear something. Go talk to Vea while I present my writ to the authorities. I can't wait to see the look on the Redrin Magister's face when I tell him what his counselor was up to. Alright, so this is the part at which she now will be either dead, missing, etc. Like I thought she would be before. You are sure I'll go sp sp blah, 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 speak to Vea. Anything else to say? No. Usually you say something when I'm leaving, and then you didn't say anything. I gotta leave this manor, don't I? Hmm, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's uh, the quarters. So, you know what? I'm just gonna run past these fuckers, what do I care? Somehow we got away with that. Alright, and I know it was gonna work, I just done that in the first place. Get dunked on, bug! I need your insect parts so that I can fish for booty. Which I haven't really done yet, but I will. Holy crap. We're right in the middle of the <laughs> we're right in the middle of all the soldiers. Alright, this is bad news bears. How does one leave this place? There is a gate over there, let's go! Oh god! Oh. Stroke, 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 stroke. Alright, we're no longer trespassing. We cool now? We cool, we cool. okay, cool. Alright, so. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, talk to Vea. Let's go do that really quick. I. There's Balmora. So Vea is over there. Let's mark it off. And then teleport to that. I'm gonna keep you with me. I could cut this out, but I'm gonna keep you with me. Hi, how's it going? My name's Jason. It's nice to meet you. Uh, See, so yeah, I didn't sleep well last night. 
Which might be why I can't read for shit in the game, but man did insomnia hit me hard. Uh, normally I'm asleep by about 10 a.m. because I'm nocturnal, just so, just so you know, that's, that's a cool looking set of armor you got there. I'm not really keen on the makeup and everything else, but you know, uh, I'm not the fashion police, so you can wear whatever the hell you want. If I were the fashion police though, you'd be getting arrested for being too- I Whoa! think we should execute criminals on sight, but my captain won't allow it. He wants your bounty. Never! They're hardly worth the effort. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened? Whoa! What the Christ was that? I get hit by that. I got freaking crab claw out of the ground. I even know. So our bounty is 39. You see down at the bottom right. Now I think it only takes a few minutes for the bounty to pass. Since we're about to end the episode after we get to this hideout, I figure, screw it. I ain't paying that. And mostly it's because, um... I'll take my stolen goods, and we ha do have some stolen goods, like we've got a painting and some other stuff from people. I think we should be safe down here. Oh, you're not dead. God damn it. I keep predicting this wrong. Hello. Back again. Camera angle. Took your sweet time. You didn't learn anything, did you? Not that it matters. Oran's dead, and nothing can change that. <laughs> we know where to find the soldiers who are with Oran the day of the instant. Oh, that's what I was about to say. Ah, uh, so normally I'm asleep by 10 a.m., it was like 1 p.m. before I got to sleep yesterday. It sucked. What good is that going to do? They won't speak to us. House before family and all that. Believe me, I'm more than familiar with Redoran honor. Redoran. Still, I suppose I know a few ways to get people to talk. I don't think you should leave the safe house until Nayu gets back. I still think I'm right. I think eventually she's going to disappear or die or something, like when we come back here, but apparently not yet. More rules. I thought we were beyond those kinds of limitations. Look, I need to figure out who's responsible for Oren's death. House counselors, Redoran soldiers, Ashlanders, whoever it is, they need to pay. We also discovered that Captain Bravan might have had a role in Oren's troubles. Bravan was Oren's best friend. Would he really betray my brother? Regardless, I want you to have this. You could have handed me to my father and you didn't. Other than Naryu and Asher, you might be the only friend I have left. Okay, so this helmet is crap defensively compared to what we have. But, it reduces the cost of sprinting and roll dodging by 2%. 2% ain't much, but it's something. And it gives you more stamina. And it looks cool. I think it looks like a Morik Tong helmet. So we're going to wear that and then we'll take off our costume because I want to see what it looks like. So which soldiers are we talking about? I know most of the people my brother used to work with. Eyewitnesses are better than notes in the house registry, provided I can actually get them to talk to me. Fatola Telem Squad, they're scouting the old fort, but I really think we should wait for Nayu. There's no time to waste. That fort's near the cave where I was hiding. Last time I was there, the fort was crawling with cultists. We need to find them before Vatala and his soldiers wind up sacrificed to some Daedric prince. A few more moments. We'll get Vatala and his soldiers killed. I know the process. Turning in a rick can take hours, maybe even an entire day. I'll leave Naryu a note. She can meet us at the fort. I'm going. Either come with me or get out of my way. Don't worry, baby. I'll be coming. Let me gather my gear and write a note for Naryu. I'll meet you near the Hlormoran stronghold. The more I think about it, the more convinced I am that we'll learn who's responsible for Oran's death soon. Then blood will flow. Blood will flow? I thought you needed a writ to kill someone. As far as I'm concerned, rules got my brother killed. They don't apply to me anymore. You're a rebel Besides, without a cause! To find the soldiers, we're probably going to have to carve a path through those cultists. The Morag Tang won't care about that. I don't make the rules. I break the rules. I thought Nayu was responsible for your actions. That's what the handbook says. Look, I know what Nari's done for me. To keep me safe, I appreciate that. But this is about what they did to my brother. Nothing else matters. Not Nariu, not you, and certainly not me. Don't force me to choose between you and Nariu. She's hotter. No, never. You and Nariu are my enemies. I just need to get justice for Ulran. Otherwise, his death will be the first of many. We have to be able to resist laws that make no sense or get people hurt without being afraid of getting exiled. D 
Do you know Vatola Tellum? I know Vatola. He's a typical Redoran soldier, loyal to a fault, always spouting nonsense about house and honor above all. He was devoted to my brother, though. Oran considered him to be one of his best. Why didn't Vatala stand up for Oran at his trial, eh? Mm -hmm. eh? Oran had a habit of putting the needs of others ahead of his own. He probably the needs of the Vatala many outweigh the needs of the few. Quiet. Decided to take responsibility and save the many heartache. I hope these soldiers remember that when we find them. I hope so too. Alright, calm down. Calm down! Calm down. Alright, real quick before we end the episode, let's equip this bad boy. Let's go to collections. I think it's this one. And we go to appearance. Go to costumes. Take that off. That is what our new helmet looks like. Pretty derpy looking, but at the same time, definitely unique. I like it. Are we gonna roll with this? We look. We look like a weird mishmash. Anyway, thank you all for watching! I will see you next time. Goodbye! Thank you everybody for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to support me, you can either click the like button or if you are feeling especially generous, I have a Patreon page at patreon.com slash MrAnsonLP where you can donate per month however much you wish. There are certain rewards, one of which in the $10 plus tier reward is to have your name shout out in the end credits. So this month we have... Don Lobo, I'll be jiggered, Arctic Stoat, Billy Nine, Dr. Papa Penguin, Philip Rep, aka Bebop56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, Hitbox, and that is it this month. Thank you everybody, and thank you to everybody in the $5 plus tier who should be on screen now. And thank you to everybody else in the lower tiers. I love you all. You guys are awesome. Good night everybody and goodbye!